Hi, I'm Alexander Lowry, the director of the Master of Science in Financial Analysis program here at Gordon College. I'm excited to take just a couple of minutes to give you an overview about what we're doing here. We're incredibly excited about this opportunity that we feel like God has positioned us to share with you. Gordon College's program is unique. We designed it to address three specific goals. First, as an alternative to the traditional MBA. Second, as an opportunity to embed the ethics and the Christian viewpoints in the financial services industry. And third, to establish deeper connections to the financial hub of Boston. So the first point, as an alternative to the traditional MBA. I will be the first person to admit the MBA is the absolute right thing to do for some students, not for all students. So I got my MBA at Wharton. I went there to specialize in finance. Wharton is actually great at that subject, but the MBA program is actually built towards people who are not sure exactly what you want to do. The way it works is if you go in the first year and you want to study a little bit about everything, strategy, operations, marketing, accounting, finance, it's perfect because that's what you do. And you get your summer internship and you realize this is actually what I want to do and you specialize your second year. But if you come in like me knowing exactly what you want to specialize in, well, you probably could have done a one-year program, learned that same knowledge and technical skill set, done it for half the cost because it's a two-year opportunity cost of being away from a salary, plus there's the cost of the program. Average MBA tuition is 140000 At a top school like a Wharton, you're getting closer to a two hundred. That's a huge load. So what we think about is our program, it's one-year master's, getting the same technical knowledge. Our tuition is closer to 30000 so it's much more affordable for people who probably have a lot of debt coming out of college. And the other big part is there's the summer internship for an MBA. And we build an internship into our program so that our students also graduate having real world experience. So we're very comfortable that our program is comparable to what's going on our, out there in the MBA world. Now our second big goal is talking about embedding the Christian viewpoint and ethics into the financial services industry. When we look back at the Great Recession 10 years ago, I think a room full of people would probably nod their heads and say we could use more rational decision making in the room. And our view is to have a marketplace full of believers who are thinking, I need to do well in my business, not for my own personal good, but for the betterment of society, which is why we take our program and we specifically emphasize bringing the faith into the finance, embedding the ethics into all of our classes. Now, all the top business schools will have one class on ethics. We had one at Wharton. The professor had been teaching it for 40 years. He walks into the first class. He finds a room full of students chattering away, 80, 90 people, and he takes this giant manila folder, throws it down on the table, makes a big thud. All the people in the room stop, they look around, try to see what's going on, points to the folder and he says, these are my students over the last 40 years who have gone to jail. Now that was eye-catching. Now the equivalent for us at ethics class, you walk in, you slide a manila folder under the table and it's empty. But we don't just have one class on ethics, we have an entire curriculum that talks about ethics and the religious approach to finance because that's what we want our people going out into the world and taking into them with their careers. So the third part of our program is about deeper connections with the financial hub of Boston. Now the reality is when you think about a finance job, you think New York and Wall Street first. Absolutely right. But after that, it's pretty close, San Francisco or Boston. Now Boston has tons of finance firms, big names that are headquartered here like a Fidelity and State Street, other companies with large presence. We have fantastic connections from Gordon. I've got about a thousand alumni who call me and talk about how do I mentor students, how do I open the doors for internships or full-time jobs. We have this wonderful connection base already that we're going to be expanding as part of this program. So we feel very comfortable about the jobs on our doorstep for our students. So if I bring all those three points together, the summary is that we know God has given every person unique skills and talents to use for his kingdom and how to advance them. We know some people that'll be working in the financial services industry. We feel it's our job to empower them to be out there and working for the kingdom. And if that's the right student for you, if that's the right approach, we'd be excited to talk to you.